Hello and welcome back to this channel. Today is day 93 of the 100 days of prayer and the message is titled, I will go to my family. Let us pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this beautiful day that you have given us and we thank you for the opportunity that we can come and listen to your word. Father, I pray that we can open our hearts and minds to listen to what you have to say to us. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today's scripture will be taken from 1 Timothy 5 verse 8. But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Amen. I have a short quote from the book titled The Adventist Home and it says you must be earnest, firm and decided to do your duty in your family and take them with you if possible. You should spare no effort to prevail upon them to accompany you on your heavenward journey. Amen. Heart questions. We all have immediate or extended family members who have not yet fallen in love with Christ and decided to live faithfully for him or they have walked away from God. Maybe some are atheists or have other reasons for their decision. Or maybe they have never had a chance to fully hear, understand and see the gospel in words and actions. You have a responsibility to do all that is within your power to gently, kindly and with much wisdom and love reach out to those family members, showing them that you care and at the right time pointing them to the truth and love of Jesus. Questions? Will you prayerfully do this important work of intercession and ministry to your non-believing or non-Adventist or even backslidden family members? Second question, will you commit to be more intentional in your outreach to them? Prayer requests. Pray for your immediate and extended family. Pray for their salvation and for opportunities to share with them your faith, God's word and the love of Christ. Pray for all media ministries relentlessly broadcasting the gospel around the world. Pray for a mighty harvest. Pray for business leaders making difficult decisions that affect the lives of the employees during this pandemic. Pray for Matthew, a man struggling with addictions, homelessness and other chains that are keeping him from stepping on the upward way with Jesus. Pray for a breakthrough for him and all precious people who are under the bondage of Satan. Let us humble ourselves and pray. Father, we come to you once again before your throne. Father, I want to commit us into your hands. Father, please forgive us of all our sins. Father, as we are before you right now, I pray for all our families, all our relatives that have not heard of you in an adequate way. Father, I pray that you pull them closer to you. You show them the right way they have to take. You lead them to you, Father. And I pray that you also give us the courage and the strength to be confident and just tell them about you. Tell them about the love you have for us. Father. I pray for any Christian media or Adventist media since they have so much impact on the world. Father, there's so much going on and I pray that through this kind of media it can touch people's hearts for them to come closer to you and to experience the love you have for us. I pray for any business leaders, for any important leaders that are taking risks um, and risking other people's lives during this time. We know that this time is very difficult and dangerous. So Father, I pray that you 
give them the insight of what they have to know and that you show them that is very dangerous for some people. I pray for Matthew who was struggling with addictions and homelessness. Not only him, there are so many people going through this. Father, everywhere, I pray that you help them. You know what they are battling with. Please break the chains that Satan is holding them in. Father, it, it just breaks my heart to see people like that. So I pray that we can also be in help to them and we can also just tell them about who you are and about your love for them and that they, they can stop doing this with your help. Father, I pray that you continue to be with us as you always are. I believe that you will provide everything for us during this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Queen.